Okay, hi, I'm Chris with King Oak, and uh, today we're here to do some epoxy work, and I'm kind of, I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to be working uh, with this mold that I got from Crafted Elements, these guys right here. And uh, this is my first project of hopefully many, so if I make a few mistakes, I'm going to let you know what they are. So just a couple of things. I, I actually tried one the other day and I kind of pooched it to tell you the truth. I, I screwed it up. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't mix my stuff properly. I, I didn't understand it. So anyway, did a little research. I'm back at it. So, okay. So what I did do is uh, my wife had a silicone muffin tin. So, or not tin, but muffin silicone. And uh, so I decided to test some of the colors uh, I put some epoxy release in there, sprayed it, and I tried some of the different dyes. Uh, I actually have some acrylic paints that I did here, and actually some that's just food coloring. So I wanted to test it out, and what, that's what I should have done it the first time. So that's okay. Live and learn. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here, we can look at this, and these are the dyes on this side over here, and they're really quite beautiful, actually. It really turned out nice. So those are the dyes over here. This, these two, uh, actually this one is acrylic paint and this one was a dye as well. So it's a little more matted, but uh, I kind of like them both. These uh, guys right here, these three were uh, acrylic paint that I had, little tubes, and I, I thought I'd try. Now, one error, I, I didn't mix it probably long enough, uh, but they get really beautiful colors, so not too bad. This stuff is just dye, uh, food coloring, boom. And it dark, I use too much apparently, so, you know, but it's not bad if that's all you got to work with, that's what I would do. So I wanted to show you that. And the other reason is part of this project that I'm doing today uh, I'm going to be able to, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to uh, simulate a ocean, like an Arctic Ocean. And uh, so I wanted to check some of the blues and greens. So I decided to go with, I, I like this blue here. I might add a little bit more food, or uh, this, this is not food coloring, this is uh, dye. This is the ice epoxy dye. And a little bit of dark green. So I'm going to do it in two mixes. I'm going to... Uh, I'll ha we'll have a look inside here in a minute, but it's probably going to be about half to three quarters of an inch thick. So uh, I'm going to pour two cups of the darker blue in there. I might put a few drops because I like that blue too, so I might add a little darker. So it's interpretation, how you feel, like, you know, whatever floats your boat by. Okay, so, and then I'm going to add some green to the top. And then we're going to create some waves. I've got my torch. I think I've got everything. You've seen me. I was pouring some hot water into my epoxy. Now this stuff is one in one. Uh, I had some left. I'm going to be using the ice products here in the future, but this is quite thin. Anything over an inch uh, recommended. Uh, use the two to one uh, for sure. And I've got that. We'll be using that in the next project. So looking forward to that too. Oh, next project. I already had these CNC'd. I'll just show you here. Uh, I'm from Nova Scotia apparently. So we're going to do half this and then the other half is going to be ocean. That's going to be another project. And then this one is going to be inlaid. So I'm going to actually put uh, some different color epoxies in here and then a nice emerald green for the province of Nova Scotia. So we'll, we'll do that. That's going to be an upcoming project, but I've wanted to do this one. So I'll explain it. So for now, I'm just going to move this over here. Okay, so I want to explain this. I keep this in here because I don't want to forget to put my epoxy release in here. And I want to make sure I wear gloves and I do have a respirator. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't have great ventilation in here. So I just want to be safe. So let's get started. Is basically what I'm going to do. Uh, last night, I painted these with a matte paint and these are going to be icebergs. You can see them clearly there. 
and it's going to be ocean all in around here. There's going to be some waves and stuff. I haven't done that before, but I'm excited about trying it. So, got to be really careful picking up dirt too. It's <laughs> everywhere. So, uh, okay, so basically this is going to be an ocean. And what happened is mom is here and the little baby they're both on icebergs and they're floating in the ocean. Mom's getting a little bit worried because, <laughs> well, it, the iceberg's getting smaller and smaller. And anyhow, so eventually they both jump off, they go on to the land and it's a happy ending. So I'm sure. But uh, anyway, so they're going to be surrounded in the ocean. So that's the look. So further with that, what I'm going to do is once the epoxy's done, if everything works out, I pull that out of there. What I'm going to do is I already cut this plate out. Um, so this is 11 and a half inches on the inside. So I've got 12 and a half here. So that just worked out perfect. I was going to do something else with this, but so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to cut the center out, like probably that whole circle right there. And this will set on top of that, right? And it'd be. And then I'm going to drill a hole through here and I'm going to put LED lighting underneath here in this area that's going to be gone. And the epoxy with the ocean and are going to sit on top. And I think it'd be pretty cool. The lights are going to come up through. And I even thought, well, maybe I might go a little bit further and put some rods up here and put a top on it that would reflect the light like northern lights. But I don't know. Maybe that's a little grandiose for now. Anyway, one step at a time. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous uh, in a way. I'm excited and nervous. So what I'm going to do is we'll start mixing the epoxy and go from there. Uh, I've got my A and my B and it's one to one. So I'm going to mix that. I'm going to put on my mask so I'll do a voiceover with what I'm doing. And then that's why this is on a table. I can move it out. I have a special room where I can put it in so it will cure and don't have to worry about the smell and all the rest of that stuff. So, okay. So I see I have one mixing cup, but I need two. And I've got these measured. So I'm just going to go run and grab my other mixing cup. Okay, so we've got... I got these at the dollar store. They're buck each. I've been reusing them, cleaning them out. and uh, So basically, I'm going to mix this. Uh, I actually have it marked on the inside for two cups exactly. So I'm going to mix part A, part B, put it in there. And then basically, we'll put the dye in. The first dye I'm going to use is the blue. And then we're going to go with the green. So I just went over and grabbed that. So I've got the blue here and I've got the green. So, we'll set them there. Then we got to make up a little bit of white. And so, we'll get the white and make a little bit so we can put a little bit in there. And we'll get the heat gun. We'll blow it out a little bit. And then I have my torch to kind of heat it up to create the cells in the water so it looks like it's breaking up good. So, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to put these guys up for a little while. And... I'm going to put my mask on and we'll start mixing right away. All right, so mixing part A, part B, pretty simple. Just make sure you've got exact eight ounces, eight ounces. That makes two cups. I had the mark on the inside of that plastic cup there. I uh, fashioned a little drill bit there. Uh, it had been broken, so I used it for a, a mixer and it does a great job. Uh, <clears throat> putting my dye in. I look at it, not quite sure what it's going to look like when it goes, oh, don't forget your epoxy release. Oh, God, put that in. That's a bit light. Uh, so you can see through the magic of speed up. Yep, I darkened it up a little bit. So that's going to be the first layer, the kind of blue. That was the thought. Put the rocks in. Notice how they're moving around like the ocean or oh, whatever. Okay. So, okay. So now I'm going to mix up my, oh. Yeah, okay, so I've got to mix up a couple more cups, and I'm going to go with the darker green. I let this set for about 20 minutes, and it's kind of started to get a little bit thick, 
so I thought that would give me some uh, layer separation. This stuff really sets quick. So I've got my dark green that'll go on top of the blue. And I wasn't 100% sure what effect that was going to give me. This is trial and error. Like I said, folks, it's my first go around and uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank God I've got this, uh, this mold that uh, it, it just worked beautiful. And so, yeah, it didn't kind of spread out to the edges as quickly as I thought it would. So I take a little stick and kind of encouraged to go out to the edge. So I just kind of move it around a little bit. It's still staying mostly separated from the blue. Uh, yeah, having a good look at it there. Okay, so the white. Yeah, I, I tried the torch here uh, to get the bubbles out. And then I tried to get the little... It's really hard to do because the walls are very, uh, very high on the mold. So I, I, I didn't anticipate that. So anyway, uh, as it turned out, I added more and more white because I figured, well, you know, maybe this is the actual beach area. So I put a couple of layers of the white. Okay, so last night uh, I let this set. A couple little problems here and there, but uh, this is basically my first shot at the epoxy thing. So. I'm kind of excited and I think when you see the final result here I think you'll agree with me it turned out pretty good I was a little bit nervous last night I added a bit more white I've got a few spots here where I held a torch too close kind of made a few burn marks but I'm just going to put a little epoxy on that so now what we're going to try to do is uh, pop this out of there this is uh, the uh, the mold uh, that uh, I got from crafted elements and uh, I want to tell you, it, it's thick, it's heavy, and it's a thing of beauty. And what I did is, like I said, you got to be really careful. Make sure that you, you put your, uh, your epoxy release on there. This is the one that I bought, uh, recommended by Sean and those guys at uh, Crafted Elements. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see how this is going to come out of here. I'm a little nervous. Because that was always one of my little worries here. How the heck does that come out? Okay. Oh, it's coming. Take it a little bit at a time. Oh my gosh, here it comes. Look at that. And look at that. Clean as a whistle. Once again, don't forget to put this stuff in there. It'll save you a lot of grief. And this thing is just going to, I hope to use it a hundred times, a thousand times. I don't know how long it will last. Not a mark on it. These guys, I'm going to plug them. I don't care. He gave me a break. He helped me out with this. And I'm really impressed with this. Uh, that's it. That's just what I've got to say. But I am impressed. So we got the mold. Kind of, that's what it looks like here. Kind of weird that's one of the, the rocks that I've got here and on this side we'll clean it up and stuff later I'll clean the edges sand it off a little bit and so without further ado let's see what this thing look at this I shouldn't probably handle it like that but it's solid and ah, I love it okay so here's what we're gonna do Oh, by the way, I turned this on the wood lathe uh, just a little while ago. I had a spare, and you'll see from the video, I, I was trying to cut it, and so I glued it. I got a little bit of sanding to do, and I might paint it, but it's birch, and uh, it'll probably last forever. So I'm kind of hoping that this fits inside that. I hope I did the math okay, but we will see. So I'm going to bottom like this. And so I'll try to get this centered a little bit. And is it going to fit? Look at that. Like a glove. Like I say, we'll clean that edges up and whatnot later. This is the way it's going to set up. So we've got, uh, we've got a bear over here. And he's on the ice flow. This is an ice flow in the yard, by the way. We've got... Actually, you know what? We're going to put this guy here. We can change this around. That's Mama. That's Big Brother. And right there 
his little sister and she's on an iceberg and she's starting to float away mom's getting a little bit concerned but they're good swimmers so they're gonna live forever so okay so so basically now we're gonna do the reveal and I'm so excited okay I'm gonna turn out the lights okay so here we go Ah, I like it. So what we'll do, bring this over here a little bit. So you can see what I've done here. So this is like an ice flow, right? So there, the, the, in a lot of areas there, you've got the icebergs, you've got fresh ice in around the, uh, the ice, little tiny icebergs and stuff like that. So it's whatever your imagination wants to do. But to me, that's really a thing of beauty. Let's, uh, we'll get a close-up over here with the other camera. All right, well, I got to tell you, I'm real happy. I'd like to thank both the, uh, Terry from uh, Ice Epoxy. He uh, helped me get started with the dyes. I'm learning lots about that stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to be using uh, a lot of the epoxies from ice here in the in future shows So we've got that going on uh, And crafted elements uh, for the beautiful mold turn around here I've got a couple more projects that I'm going to be doing here in the next while we're going to be doing you know like ocean scenes here uh, And I've got some inlay epoxy stuff that I want to do. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So all right, well, this is my number one first time doing this with the epoxy. We're going to clean it up. We're going to probably paint this up a little bit, clean a couple of the spots off, and but we're going to call it a day. Uh, enough on this one. I can't wait to get started on the next one, hopefully tomorrow. So anyway, this is Chris from King Oak Crafters. Listen, um, I've said it a thousand times. This is my first time doing it. I made some mistakes. That's cool. You're going to do it. You're going to make mistakes. People like this. There's great videos on online uh, in Crafted Elements. Some of the guys at the ice, uh, they'll, they'll give you lots of um, free advice. Um, I've watched some videos, but I'm a trial and error guy, so I tried it. I loved it. I'm having a great time. Plan on doing more stuff. I want you to do that, too. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next show. Cheers.